Hi guys, this is Cal from Nerdy Weasel. Welcome back to the mod organizer for Fallout New Vegas series. Episode 15 is one I've been looking forward to for a long time. It is all about weapons of the new millennia and the complete weapons collection by millennia. With over 60 new weapons added to the game, Millennia is one of the finest mod creators out there. Everything from knives to grenade launchers, along with great pistols, rifles, and shotguns. They are a must-have for any playthrough. We'll be installing the mod Weapons of the New Millennia with its 45 guns, and then follow it up with another 17 more weapons by Millennia that weren't included in the pack. We'll then show you how to package those up into a single ESP with the merge plugin script using FNV Edit. As always, I want to remind everyone that in our effort to keep modding free, I encourage you to donate to your favorite mod creators. As part of Dirty Weasel Media's mission statement, a donation will be made to the mod creator featured here after release of this video. This is a very long video, and we have a lot of work to do, so let's get started. Alright guys, this episode has been a long time coming. I've had to hold off on doing it for a while because I felt, felt it was more important to get other stuff up and running before we started adding new weapons. And, you know, I'm a bit of a gun nut myself. I'm a big collector and I have a number of them. And I just love guns. So, Millennia's work is really kind of close to me in that the amount of care and effort he puts into his mods really shows the uh, the level of detail that we're talking about. They're not just pretty and shiny. They look like they've been worn and, and gone through the apocalypse, and they're just great work. So let's go over to the internet, and we'll get started. And the first thing we're going to pull up is Astrobe's Fear and Loathing in New Vegas. And this is one of those times that the guide is going to be invaluable to us while doing this because there's a lot of you know instructions that need to be followed, and you're going to need them. And it's too hard to remember them all by memory. I have them all written down, but I think it's more important that we have this open so you know where to get it. And what you're going to go over to is Section 9, Most Dangerous Game. Come down to 9.2, Do You Feel Lucky? And you can see Weapons of the New Millennia is right there. And when you go to the site, you know, there's going to be instructions, and we'll go over all these. But, you know, we'll go to the site, and we pull up Millennia's, Weapons of the New Millennia. Done by Millennia, Naki, and many others. And you can see it's Nexus Mods, New Vegas Mods 55008. And this is a compilation of about 45? 45 weapons added to the game that's all in one pack. There are more additional weapons that have not been done, but we'll be doing that later on in this video. So we'll come back to these, but these are the list of weapons that you're going to be getting. There's a lot of them. So you can go through the details, you know, and, and I, I would watch this video just because it's fun. One of the things you need to remember is if you're getting crashes, this message right here, if you're getting crashes when applying weapon mods, install Pelinor's weapon mod menu from here. We did that in an earlier episode, and when you open Mod Organizer, weapon mod menu is right there. So we have that. We're all ready to go. So well, let's go over to Files. And you'll see the main files right here. There is no download with manager on this. You're going to need to download it manually. So just go ahead and do that. It is quite a big file. It's 565,000 kilobytes. It will take a while. Just let it download to your desktop. And I've already done this here. So you have it right here. And when you open up and look at it, you say, well, that's kind of an interesting format. Well, we'll get to that when we install it to Mod Organizer. So what I want you to do is go to your download drive. Now remember, download drive is going to be, where did I put it? It's going to be under, for me, it's under my D mod organizer FNV downloads. If you ever have a question where your downloads is, this is where it'll be, okay? Cancel that. And we'll go over and we'll go pull that up. Okay, and here we are, FNV downloads. Open this up, you can see this is where I keep all my downloads. And, you know, this is not connected to the drive where Mod Organizer is running. This is just where we'll be pulling the downloads from. So take your 7Z archive that you now have on your desktop that you downloaded and drag it and drop it in. There it is. Weapons of New Millennia right there. We can now go ahead and close that and just set that aside. You can throw it away if you like. It's in the downloads file now, so you're all right. 
So when you come over to your downloads, you will now have weapons of the new millennia. We'll query that info and it is mod. We'll look up the mod number real fast. 55008. All right. 55008. And press OK. There it is. So it's been updated. So it has the right information. Go ahead and double click this. And this is what you're going to see. You can see it's no game, no game data on top level. So the first thing you're going to do is highlight pre-made weapons of the new millennia, right click on it, and set data directory. Now this is where the specialized instructions come in. So we're going to move all this stuff over and open up SRB site. And these are the instructions you'll see in the pop-up manual for normal in manual installation. Right click on pre-made weapons of the new millennia. Okay, we've done that. Part two, click the arrow next to the optional store and highlight sound meshes and textures and drag them to data. We can do that. So open up optional store, meshes, sound text sounds and textures. That's just right clicking on those to highlight them. And you're going to drag them up to data. See how you gray data out right there? Drop them in. So now they're gone from here and they will be down in here. There you go. So back to the instructions. Uncheck optional store optional. Let's just do this in steps. Optional store and optional. Optional. Optional store. Go back. Fomod images and weapons of the new millennia cheat chest. I'll come back to this. I'm going to actually leave mine there. Let's uncheck the Fomod and the images. Fomod and images. When he gets down to, you know, these ESPs, Weapons of the New Millennia Cheat Cabinet ESP and Weapons of the New Millennia Honest Heart Grunt Patch, click OK. We're not going to uncheck those. I'm going to leave them in, and I'll explain why as we go. I want to keep the key Cheat Cabinet, and I'm going to keep the Honest Heart's Grunt Patch. All right, so now we're looking good. Go ahead and click OK. It's going to take a while to extract these files. Just let them go ahead and do their thing. Okay, and it is done. So, you see Weapons of the New Millennia is right there at the bottom. Go ahead and check that. And it has multiple ESPs. You can come over here to Plugins. You'll see them all down here at the bottom. Go ahead and double click on this, and we'll open it up. And we'll just take a look at the optional ESPs. You have README and Weapons of the New Millennia README there, but we're more interested in optional ESPs. So we're going to need Weapons of the New Millennia ESM, and we're going to need the level list.esp. So let's talk first about the cheat cabinet. The cheat cabinet is a what he calls a tickle chest or a tickle trunk, and it's located next to Chet's general store in Good Springs, and it will have every weapon and every mod that's being added to the game by Weapons of the New Millennia. If you're like me, and I do mostly a making videos, I want to have all these weapons available to me. If you're just playing and you don't really want to cheat, I would go ahead and highlight it and move it up. Next portion is the Weapons of the New Millennia Honest Hearts Grunt Patch. The Honest Hearts Grunt Patch will allow the, you know, some of the weapons from Weapons of the New Millennia to get the Grunt Perks, the Grunt Perk, I guess that's what it was, the Grunt Perk to add the you know, the bonuses to those specific weapons, like the M14, some of the other ones. So, you know, if you're not using Caliber X, and Caliber X will be covered in the next video. Right here, Caliber X. It'll be covered in the next video. It has the uh, Grunt Perk patch already built into it. So, if you're not planning on using Caliber X, leave this here to get the perk benefits of having it in there. I'll be installing Caliber X in the next video, so I'm actually going to highlight it and move it up. But I wanted you to have the options to, you know, if you're not going to use Caliber X, move it down and you'll get the perks from having the grunt. There's that. This is something to keep in mind for what you're doing. So you always want to leave weapons of the new millennia ESM. You always want to leave the level list. But the grunt patch is going to be dependent on whether you use Caliber X or not. I'm going to be using Caliber X 
I'm going to move it up to optional. And because I make videos, I want the cheat chest to be available to me so I can go grab weapons and make pretty pictures. So we'll go ahead and now we'll go over to conflicts. And you can see it's going to be conflicting a few things. Let's just close this and you can see it's going to be having a few conflicts. It's overriding WRP and it's overriding weapon animation foam mod. Weapons of the New Millennia is dependent, is, was designed around having the weapon animations replacer in the game. If you don't have this, go back and watch the last video, episode 14. So, what I want to do is I'm going to slide this up and put it there. When you recheck your conflicts, you can see it is now just overriding one thing out of WRP, and that's the texture effects, golden desert eagle something, probably DDS. But it's allowing the weapon animation foam mod to do the rest of the work. That's the way you want to have it. I would go ahead and close, press close at this point. So it's in the right spot. Go ahead and run loot. It's probably not going to give you the right information, but run it anyways. I noticed it didn't give me the right information before. Fallout New Vegas. You scroll down and you see weapons of the new millennia.esm contains 10 identical to master records. Clean with FNV edit. Okay, we got that. And weapons of the new millennia cheat chest ESP, and that is at the bottom. So we're going to sort plugins. I already know what it's going to do, but we'll see it anyways. It didn't move anything. Just go ahead and click apply and close that down. And you know, if you want to see this, it has enabled masters, weapons of the new millennia, and Fallout New Vegas ESM. I'm going to go ahead and move it up. To where my gear is and it's going to be right up here there's reasons for this for later on when we go to wmx and all these different things but for right now these will be fine you know weapons of new millennia esm weapons of new millennia esm it will load just fine right there so let's go ahead and you know we'll just go fix those itms real fast so it said what did it say i've forgotten already see i'm i'm getting old my memory's going bad it said the Webs New Millennia ESM has the dirty records. Okay. So open FNV Edit. I want you to right click on this field, select none, and we are going to go find Weapons of the New Millennia ESM. Double click it. Let it run. And there you have it. So you have the masters available up here. You've now highlighted it. Right click. Apply filter for cleaning. Right click again, remove identical to master records. That's all we're doing. That's when we're not undeleting disable references, we're just removing identical to master records. Let's say, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Positive. Done. Okay. Close that. It's going to open up this and it says the only thing that we've changed is weapons of the new millennia.esm. We're good with that. Press OK. All right, there it is. Now you'll have stuff in your override. You'll have FNV backups. We're just going to delete that right now. We don't need it. You can leave UIO. I'm going to delete it now for later and close that. So now we have everything we need. Weapons of the New Millennia is up here. It's being overwritten by the Weapons Animation Replacer Foam Mod, and, but it's overriding WRP for that one DDS. And it's the right spot for here. Okay, it's not going to cause any problems here. It'll be fine. So let's go ahead and go in game and take a look at it. So here we are outside Chet's Good, Good Springs General Store right there. Come around the corner near the reloading weapons bench, you see something new. What's that cabinet you say? Let's go take a look. And it's the tickle trunk. That's exactly what we talked about. This is the cheat chest. And when you open up the cheat chest, you're going to have everything. Everything. So many good toys. Let's just grab something. Uh, the G36K, right? Just what's this use? I use 10 millimeter. That's a that's a pistol. Let's just grab the G36K. All right. Let's close it. But you've got all your weapons. 
We got miscellaneous. These are all the mods that are required that you can use. All right, so it's got everything in here and a bunch of ammo, just because. So let's equip that new G36K. So we got. Ooh, it's got an interesting scope on there. Let's come out in the sun here and take a look at it. See, it actually moves around. It actually works with the uh, War, the Weapon Animation Replacer first-person view. Looks good, doesn't it? Because it was designed to work for it. Yeah, look at that. Look at that thing. Nice, huh? It's got a scope on it. Looks very pretty. So that's kind of what you're getting with this. You're getting some well-made crafted weapons. They look great. I have some ammo for this. All right. Nice animations. First person. Good sound. I like it. So, when you open this up, go to G36K. You know we have the uh, weapon mod menu on it, so you can actually open it up. And it's got two options. Every you know weapon might be slightly different, but that's that's okay. So they're available. If you want to go back into the tickle chest, I'm sure you could find it. It works. It looks good. It looks really good. I really like this. This is a good weapon. Not my preferred weapon for uh, Duke here, but it's a great weapon all the same. So let's go back to the desktop and get going and we'll install even more weapons. And we're back to get more weapons and I feel like I'm such a bad video maker. I forgot to change my background coloring for the Fallout New Vegas, so. It's back to orange and gold. I was green and gray for Fallout 3. I'm just bad like that. So, back at it. Got to get back to work. So, let's go back to SRB site. And you remember we were at section 9.2, Do You Feel Lucky, where we had weapons of the new millennia. I want you to keep scrolling down. We're going to go down to 9.3, which is keep scrolling down. Additional weapons. Open this up in a, in a separate page just so we can see it. And these are the additional weapons that were not included in Weapons of the New Millennia. And there are 16 of them. So, you know, we're going to have to download all of these, put them in my auto organizer, but we want to merge all these plugins together. But there's something we need to do first. So I want you to go ahead, and you remember we have FMV Edit. It's, it's in my... Uh, my core directory for Fallout New Vegas, it is FMV it is right there. Just just keep that in mind where that is. And we're going to go and get something to merge all these plugins together so we don't have 16 different ESPs for something that we can merge together. So I want you to go over to the Skyrim site, and this is Nexus Mods Skyrim Mods 37981. And you're looking for the Merge Plugins X Edit script. And what this does is it will add a Merge Plugin script to all these games. DS5 Edit, Oblivion Edit, uh, FNV Edit, and FO3 Edit. And it works for all four of them. So don't worry too much about that. And what we'll go ahead and do is go to Files. You see Merge Plugins version 1.9. This requires version... FNV edit of 3.1.1. So that's why I had this file open. So when we open it, if you hover over it, you can see we have version 3.1.1. So we have the right version. If you don't, go back to FNV edit. Just look it up on the uh, FNV Nexus, get FNV edit, and download it to its own folder in the main FNV directory. Okay? Just like we did in episode three four i can't remember anymore it's getting so 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 much farther in the past so there's that go ahead and download this manually and uh it'll give you a warning okay you know you're gonna need ts5 edit that's actually for fnv edit don't worry about it just plus yes okay so let's go to the desktop and you can see merge plugins right there Open this up, and you're going to have edit scripts, merge plugin, readme.txt, merge plugin, edit script URL. So go back into where you had your FMV edit folder, and you'll open this up. I want you to go ahead and highlight all these, drag them, 
and drop them in. It's going to ask you if you want to merge this folder. Yes, because it's editing, adding edit scripts to the edit scripts on this side. Let's say yes. And it's done. Okay. Now, if you open this up, you have merge plugins version 1.9 pass. Open this up, merge plugins 1.9 pass. So you know it worked. Okay. So you can go ahead and close that, throw it away, and close that. So we're done. So let's get back to the site, and we'll go ahead and close this now. And we'll go back to SRB site. These are the recommended weapons, and there's a whole variety of them. I mean, the target pistol, Vretta, the old classic Browning P35, and you go down even some new stuff. You know, the codename RU4, RU5. Five, six, mmm, tasty. And you keep coming down, you got uh, a whole bunch of good stuff here. Let's find one that's really cool. Let's see, was it the PKM? Nope, well, that's still good though. How about the CZ-105 Bren? Yeah, look at that. That looks nice. I think we want that. We want to have that, so we got to get it. So you can see, you know, Desert Eagle in here. Even some old classics like the M1897 trench shotgun. That'll clear a trench. So we can go and close these down, come back to the site now. Go ahead and download all those. You know, just go ahead and open I'll open that back up. So go to files, hit download with manager, and do that for all the ones you want. You don't have to have all these. Just pick the ones you want, download them all together. And then come back to me and, and mod organizer when you're all done. Yeah. I'll wait. A quick note. While editing this video, Millennia and Naki have released their latest and final weapon to the Millennia collections for Fallout New Vegas. It is the IMI Galil, mod number 59635. It looks fantastic and I would suggest getting it. Download the same as the others shown here. No change, really. Millennia has stated that this is the last weapon release before starting on Fallout 4. Let me just say, thanks Millennia for all the great guns for New Vegas. Fear not, Millennia fans, he has said that much of his previous work for FNV will get ported over to Fallout 4. I, for one, look forward to seeing them and any new creations he may come up with for the new game. No? It's gonna, yeah, it's going to take a while. So, I've, I've downloaded them all already, so you can see this in action. And... You know, we're just going to download them all in turn. I mean, just double click to install. Manual. Looks good. Hit OK. And then do it again. And keep and just keep doing it all the way down. I'll I'll do this very quickly and we'll get them all done. All right, so 16 new mods. What does this say here? Install version 1.1. We're going to ignore that update. Probably just a weird texture thing. All right, so you now have 16 brand new mods here. I want you to go ahead and click them all. Just click them all in, and they will start popping up in your plugins tab on the right side. There we go. You come down to the bottom. There they all are. I want them at the bottom, even though, you know, they look kind of silly down here, especially with Project Reality above the top. That's where we want them. What's the next step? Well, we need to merge all these plugins together. I want you to leave them active and leave them active over on this side. Then come over here to FNV Edit, and you're going to click Run. Now that it's open, I want you to go ahead and right click on this field and select none. Go down and reselect all of the guns that you just unselected. So they are all selected. Make sure they're all contiguous. There's no plugins in between. If you do, you need to reorder the load reorder the plugins on the right tab of Mod Organizer. And click OK. And it's going to start processing. And background loader is finished. I want you to go ahead, you got the two you know, master files up here. I want you to highlight all these. You're going to right click and check for errors. 
it shouldn't have any check any errors in here it's all checked and done so now that we've got this I want you to right click on BT87 it really doesn't matter I'll highlight it anyways right click on that and we are going to apply a script right we just installed a new script to this so we're going to apply that script go ahead apply script and we are looking for and you'll you'll get this okay right you get a bunch of stuff in here and I want you to scroll down to you find merge plugins version 1.9 select that merge, merge plugins 1.9 right there see that you got the right thing created by Mador the eternal I saw a video by him on this it's a great topic I should you should check it out merge plugin scripts uh, changes it changes all this stuff it doesn't really matter what you're gonna do is hit OK it seems that now I've had to reinstall this so you can get this message it seems that this is the first time you're writing the script. Please set up your advanced options in the, for future merges. The window will come up automatically, and you can go back to it any time by clicking the gear in the bottom right corner of the script window. Okay, hit OK. And there we have the script window. And right off the bat, they say Mod Organizer Options. I'm using Mod Organizer. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Click that, and it's going to ask you for your Mod Organizer directory. If you have it installed in your C drive, this may work. But remember, I don't recommend installing things in your C drive. But you can try select, and it'll give you a message over here. Couldn't automatically detect mod over file path. Please enter it manually. All right, that's over here. All right, so mod organizer directory. Come over here to a little browse for mod organizer. And what you're going to do is go to where you keep your mod organizer for Fallout New Vegas. And of course, mine's by my E drive. And it's under Steam. Steam Apps. Common. Uh, Fallout New Vegas. And you have Mod Organizer right there. Go ahead and click OK. Now you have Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout New Vegas. And I'll say Mod Organizer, it just doesn't say that anymore. And then you're going to assign destination directory. Now, what you're going to I'm just keep these things. Uh, let's do it back up the top. So you now have Fallout New Vegas Mod Organizer. I want you to go ahead and click Copy General Assets if you ever want to know what these things do. And it'll give you a little message, but just trust me on this. Click that. Copy General Assets. It only works for Mod Organizer, so it works. Leave these buttons unticked. Leave Second Pass unticked. These are all suggested by Matter of the Eternal. And you're going to come down to Asset Destination Directory. I want you to go ahead and click on this again. And what you're going to do is find Mod Organizer again. Where is it at? Mod Organizer. And you come down, you're going to look for Overwrite. This way, it'll put the Overwrite, all the stuff, into the Overwrite file. Click OK. There you go. Now we'll put everything, all the assets, everything you're going to be building with this merge plugin script into your overwrite file. Go ahead and uh, leave this box unchecked. Leave the extract BSAs. We don't really have to worry about that because we're just basically doing ESPs. And then batch copy assets. If this is checked, assets will be copied via the batch script after X edit is done merging them. If you want to use this if you're merging plugins which have a lot of assets. Fully voice followers, blah, blah. It just shut up. You should have this enabled for merge all of your mods, mods just to be safe. Just to be safe. Okay, do that. Now what you're going to do is save this profile. If you want to discard this profile, you could do that. But I'm going to hit save. And you're presented with another window. These are all the plugins that we are going to be merging together. Because we had them all highlighted together, they will be checked all together if you just went ahead and clicked at the top one, the BT87, while not having all these highlighted together, you'll need to go through and check them all, right? So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, right? 17 guns are going to be merging together. I want you to hit OK. The asset destination isn't empty. You should clear it before proceeding. That's because it's probably got UIO in it. Proceed. 
and you present with a new one. Ch choose the file name you want to merge it into. We're not beginning doing that. Note merging into existing file isn't a good idea. Not a good idea and cause instability. So we're going to just create a new file. I'm going to click OK. And it'll ask you what you want to name the new file. I'm going to name it More Millennia Weapons. Or you can name it whatever you want. Whatever you want to name it. It's up to you. It's going to name it. I want you to hit OK. And it's going to start merging those plugins together. If you want to see the details, you could come over here and see the details while it's doing it. But don't close this window. Whatever you do, don't close that uh, window. So merge completed. Removing masters VT87. Create a form list for these things. All right, good enough. Your file has been merged successfully. It has 407 records. All right, looks good. Go ahead and close this. All right, now it's showing that you have more Millennium Weapons ESP created at the bottom. That's good. These are all, you know, bolded. That's that's fine as well. Slide this back over. Just have a little more space, and we're going to close it. Now on this screen, we want to select none and recheck more Millennium Weapons or whatever you named it, and leave it checked. You can name it backup plugins. I don't. I don't think it's necessary. So go ahead and click OK. There we go. We have something in our overwrite. Let's go look at our overwrite. You can see it was UIO. UIO was stuck in there. We're going to delete that. Delete it. Yes. Now, it has all of those. You can see it has all those assets in there. Sounds, textures, meshes, Huffy option. But that was for the M16A. Don't worry about that. And backups. You don't care. It doesn't matter. But it has all that stuff in there. All those text files that we put in are there. Let's go ahead and close that. We're now going to right click on it. We're going to create a mod. We now have, name it more, Millennia Weapons. Just like we did before. And click OK. We're going to activate it. You see now down here at the bottom, more Millennia Weapons.esp. All of these need to be deactivated. Okay, so I want you to come over on this side and manually deactivate them on the left panel. And that's going to remove them from your plugin list on the right. That way there's no major errors. You need to start and get rid of them all. There they go. So, when you come over and highlight it in your plugins, it says enabled master fallout new vegas esm good i'm going to move it up to under where's where's uh where is it i've i've lost i've lost more millennia, i've lost millennia there we go okay put it right there All right and if you want to look at this conflicts don't worry about that too much it's overriding some stuff it's not a big deal if it overwrites it. That's fine. I'm okay with that. And you're now allowing the weapon animation foam mod, this, to overwrite that. Overwrite the more weapons. Because we want the war foam mod to do its animation magic. So now we can move this up to weapons of the new millennia. I'm going to put it right below the level list. Okay. Actually, I'll put it above the level list. doesn't really matter. Because the only enabled master is Fallout New Vegas ESM. So, what do you do with these? Technically, you could remove them. I mean, you could just get rid of them altogether. They're deactivated. They're not doing anything right now. So you could technically remove them. I'm gonna leave them in right now because I have to come back later and do something else. All right. So let's go ahead and go into the game and take a look. So here we are back in Good Springs, and uh, you know, we're outside Doc Mitchell's house. Doc Mitchell has a little secret. He's a gun runner. Not gun runner in the sense that he works with the company, he actually runs guns. He's an international arms dealer. We're going to go in and take a look. Try to look around here. 
Oh, there's one. The uh, trench gun. Look at that. There's the Subaru Super Shorty. That's a little shotgun. All right, keep looking around. It's kind of a... Well, kind of, what, what we got over here? A Walther WA-2000. All right. Look underneath here. There's the TOZ-66. So you can see he's got all these guns in here with him. Now, he doesn't have a safe. This is a, a bad thing. Doc, you need to get a safe, man. We need to have a talk about your gun storage habits. Really bad. Humanity is bad for guns. But you keep looking around. And you'll find all these guns in here. And you have to just keep looking. Let's see. Oh, there's some, another one there. There's another one there. One there. Ooh. These are the Bren A1s. Look at that. I'm going to take one. There we go. And you can see all the mods are here, too. All right, the red dot. All the different mods for all the different guns. All right, like, let's just pull out the uh, our new gun, the Bren A2. Ah. That's the Bren A2. All right, look at that. Oh, yeah. That's even prettier. Nice. All right. Nice. I like the iron sights on that. That's good. You can see the d quality of detail on that. Look at that. That is a really sweet gun. I'll tell you. That's very cool. So what the game has done is put them all into Doc Mitchell's house. And that may be something you want to do so you can have them all and not worry about having to find them. But some people like to play the game without having to do that. We are now going to go out of game and show you how to fix it so that these guns are not in Doc's house. So he's not an international gun runner. So let's take all those guns out of Doc Mitchell's house. And what we're going to do first is go back to you know, the Fear and Loathing site, SRB's site right there. And we were back down at section 9.3, the additional weapons. And there they are right there, Millennium's additional weapons. Go ahead and click that, just to remind you where everybody is. And Millennium's additional weapons. And you can see, you scroll down through here. He's actually added the IMI Galil. So, that's up to date. You don't need to go special to get it. You can just get it right here. And uh, keep scrolling down. Now, we merged that pad, merged all these ESPs together. And here are the instructions on how to merge Millennium's weapons cheat. This is going to put all the weapons into Doc Mitchell's house. Okay, this is basically the instructions I gave you before. Now, if you want to make it so you don't get the weapons in Doc Mitchell's house, you would follow these, Merging Millennia's Weapons No Cheat. And you can read through these instructions, and they're basically the same up to the point where you actually merge the mods. Step 5 is different. Step 5 is close FNV Edit and save only the new plugin. Now we are going to go down to step 5. It now says we have merged the plugin. May stay open if that happens. Close the window as long as it stays merged. We've got that done. And this is where you'd re you know, do something different. And it says step 5. After the merge completes, expand Millennia's additional weapons.esp. Step 5.1. Right-click cell and select move. 5.2. Close FNV Edit and save only the new plugin. 5.3. Restart FNV Edit and right click the list of mods and select none. Now click money as additional weapon mods at ESP and click OK. I'm going to go quickly, but we're going to show you how to do this. 3.1. Expand form ID list from the editor ID column. Check all records that end in forms. Each weapon should have a record. An example would be the M16A2 forms. And then in the right panel, each of the form ID lists that ends in form should have errors in their list that look like this. All right, just keep that in mind. We'll come back to this and I'll show you exactly what we're talking about. And then close FNV edit and save only the new plugin. In the new mod is the overwrite folder, so click right and correct mod. Name the folder Millennia's Additional Weapons, or in our case, more Millennia Weapons. And make sure it is listed right after Winchester M1897, trench gun in the left pane. And then in the left pane of mod, on Mod Organizer, unclick all the mods that were merged from the above list. Okay, so we've read that. Now let's go do that. I've set up FNV Edit. 
and you can see we are presently at 4.3 dot right here. Up in the other one, we would be getting ready to close it and saving the only the new plugin. So this is the new step. Step five, after the merge completes, expand Millennia additional weapons.esp. And this is what we're talking about. So you go and expand it, and you'll see cell, right? Right-click cell and click remove. Right-click cell and remove. It's going to give you a couple warnings. Yes, I'm absolutely sure. It's going to give you another one. Yes, I'm absolutely sure again. Okay, now we've removed it. His instructions say to close FNV ad and save only the new plugin. All right, we're going to do that. All right, and we're going to only save this. So right click on the field, select none, and we are going to only save more Millennial Weapons, that ESP, the new one you just merged all those plugins to. All right, you got that? Not crediting any backup plugins, click OK. And it's gone. Let's go open up Mod Organizer. And if you do the overwrite, you will see all that stuff in there. You don't need to create a mod at this time. You just need to go ahead and close it. You know it's in there. We are going to restart FNV Edit. Now watch what happens. Okay, we click None again, and we scroll all the way down. More Millennia Weapons, that ESP is there. It recognized it just fine. Go ahead and select that and click OK. All right, and we're going to minimize Mod Organizer down so you can see this more clearly. And we will minimize that just so we can see a little more. All right, so we can see the instructions. There we go. And it says, now that we've restarted it, we are going to right click on the list of mods, select none, and now tick Millennial Weapons ESP. We got that. We're now going to expand the form ID list, which is right here. All right, we expanded more Millennial Weapons ESP. We're going to expand form list ID. And then we're going to click on the editor ID list. We're going to reorder our forms, right? All these have forms in them. Not all of them are going to be at the top. For whatever reason, it likes to throw stuff at the bottom too. So you have these down here. We are going to be editing these records through FNV Edit. So you got that, you got all these up here. And then for whatever reason, sometimes it throws them down here. The repair ones, we are not going to be changing these. Only the ones that have forms. Let's take another look. Now, we have that forms. Each weapon should have its own record. For example, M16A2. In the right panel of the form ID list that ends in form should have errors that look in their list that look like form ID error could not be resolved. Let's go take a look. Now, we're going to go up to the top and start there. The BHP M1935 forms. Go over the right panel right down here and you're going to see these. Right down here, see these? All right, so what we're going to do is highlight it. No, stop it. And we're going to right click and remove. It's going to ask you, are you sure? Yes, I'm absolutely sure. And it's gone. Do it again for all the ones that say error could not be resolved. And we're done. You don't see any more errors like that. Go to the next one, BT87 forms. Once again, we're looking for error could not be resolved. They'll be split up in this one and have a few things in here. So just make sure you know what you're looking for and looking for any of the ones that error could not be resolved. All right? We're going to remove them. Just like that. And you are going to do this with everything that has a form. Right? Now this one is clean. We can now move on to the CZ805. Every time someone is is bolded like that, it means you've edited that file. All right? So we're going to do the same thing. This one has multiples, and we're going to do it all over again. I'm going to go through and do this with every single one. And I will come back to you once we're done. Just remember, you got to come down here and do these as well. Okay? I'll be back. All right, so those are all done. You can see all the ones we've edited are in bold. And we've got all the ones down here. These are all the ones that say forms. If anything that says repair, don't worry about it. We're not be changing those. 
right? So just remember some of these are long and you'll need to scroll down to make sure you get them all, but double check and make sure you do that because some, if you miss one, you will have a major error. Okay, and we're just gonna double check and make sure all these are clean. Just like that. And it all looks good. I don't see anything major errors. So now that those, all those records have been edited, we can now minimize that and minimize that. And we can now close F and V edit. And it's going to have the same thing as before. Check only more millenniaweapons.esp. That's the only one we're changing. We do not check, need to check backup plugins. Go ahead and click OK. I'm going to minimize this down. And just like we did before on the other one, we will come down and we will double check our overwrite. There's all of our stuff. There's all of our text files. And we have all of our other things in here. So we're now looking good. There's no ESP in here because we created one. We merged them all in and it's only one ESP, more Millennia Weapons ESP. Go ahead and close that and we are going to right click on it, create a mod, and we are going to name it once again, more Millennia Weapons. And we click OK. Activate it. And we're going to move it up. Where do we have it? I've forgotten already. See, I always forget these things. More millennia weapons under weapons of the new millennia. Go to your plugins, and we are going to do the same thing with that. Drag it, just drag it all the way up to wherever millennia is. Weapons of the new millennia, cheat chest, level list. I want the level list to work. There we go. And like I said before, I want you to go through and untick all the individual weapons that you have. And that way they come off of your plugins list on the right. See, I missed that one. And there they all go. Now going away. Right? Take that away. So once again, we have this set up correctly. It is with Weapons of the New Millennia. And it's above Weapon Animation Replacers Foe Mod. And that's how we have it on this side. So it's going to load. Just remember, it didn't change anything else. If you just want to highlight it over it, the only enable masters Fallout New Vegas ESM. Right? So here's what I found is if you messed up, if you forgot to delete one of those form ID, error could not be resolved. When you start your game, you will get nothing on the screen. You will get a loading screen with no text. So that's how you know you did it wrong. Plus the fact that you may go in and find a weapon in Doc Mitchell's house. Okay? So that's how you do that. And we're done. I mean, that's that you've merged them all together. You're done with that. So we're going to go back and take one more look at SRB's weapons. And we are going to go just scroll back. And you'll see SRB's recommended weapons. We're just going to talk about this. I'm not going to show you how to do any of this stuff. We're just going to talk about it. These are SRB's additional weapons. If you want to go get some of these weapons, these are not millennias. I will not be covering a tutorial on how to install these. The theory is basically the same. Download them all, the ones you want, and then when you're ready to decide this is everything, like the one I would probably, I'll probably end up getting for sure, is the, where is it? The Rhino Goss Revolver. I think that's really cool. I think that's awesome. Even if I just download that by myself, I like that one. But the Remington 700 is pretty good too. Mason, maybe the Mason Jar. I don't know. Anyways. I want you to just keep scrolling down on this. These are SRB's recommended weapons. You now have merging additional weapons cheat. Basically the same instructions on how to merge mods together to create additional weapons mods without having all those ESPs. Now, if you come down, this is merging additional weapons no cheat. This is more advanced stuff. I won't be covering on this on how to do it this way. Because you can see the instructions aren't just go ahead and, you know, delete a cell, then go ahead and remove all the references or the form IDs. This is pretty complex stuff. Know what you're doing on this. Get to use, you know, F and V edit more often. And then you can come back in and do this separately. But you're going to have to do each of them by themselves with their own, you know, instructions on how to do it. But it's not that complex. You just need to take your time, read through it very carefully. Use SRB's site, right? We've talked about this before, why this is such an invaluable reference. Use the site, 
follow the instructions step by step. So that's it. We've got them all running. You know, Millennia weapons are some of the best out there. I love his work, and I think that he's going to do great stuff in the future with Fallout 4 now that he's completed his final mod, the IMI Galil for Fallout New Vegas. What are we going to do in the future? Well, we talked about Caliber X, and episode 16 will be covering Caliber X and another ammunition mod. So we'll get that done. That was a long, that was a long episode. So that's it for now, guys. My name's Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.